Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment for the next 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasus Bay. Hey, it's great to have you here. Another lovely day in the Bay. And we're looking in on the subject of today's build. Now, you see the greater consular district here in the backdrop, but today we're going to be focusing on this area right here that we're calling the Old Northeast. And the Old Northeast is going to be a uh, just a lovely stately kind of area here that's tucked in between our promenade which is beautiful here and of course last episode we did the island view park district so we're going to build out the old northeast in here now some thoughts here i'd like to introduce some height kind of along here maybe not super tall but just a little bit of height here because this is relatively low down along this spot and i wanted to frame up the promenade a little bit with some some elements of height I want to build in a shopping district in the center here, and as I move my, my mouse around in a circle, that's given me an idea. Let's do a circular shopping district kind of down in this area somewhere along here. And then down along the shore here, I think we can put in some big, beautiful waterfront villas and, and elegant homes that, that look out across the, uh, across the bay to you know, downtown. And uh, we've got just uh, the, you know, the tunnel and the cruise ships coming by, but I think it'll be a really elegant uh, place to live. And maybe it's where our big buck donors live. You know, all the people who are trying to influence our governor that's sitting up there on the hill. <laughs> all right. Well, I just threw a lot at you guys. So with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. All right, let's jump on in here. And the first thing we're going to want to do is build out a road network for this space. And I've got something in mind I think is going to be kind of cool. Uh, first thing I want to do is, is, though, is grab this grid configuration here. If you remember in our last episode, we built a 120 by 200 grid here. And that's a technique we had borrowed from our downtown area. I just want to key off of that if we can. Let's grab this line here and run straight on out. Let's turn off the snaps here. We're going to run this line straight out here. And then I want to bring this line, which is connected to our, our promenade, and just bring that right straight through here. And all I'm doing is, in this case, I'm just building a big box. And then I'll trim this piece off over here. I'm going to run this line out here. And instead of running straight out into it, I want to take and put this uh, continuous curve on here. And I want to just kind of click to this center space here and then run right back out here. So I'm the same number of squares out and just kind of make this gentle arc, if you will, into this space. And that gentle arc is going to be kind of uh, framing up what I want to have in the center space, which is a circular area. Now, we have to find the center of the space, and the best way to do that is to grab a alley road, because it's a single square, and then just go out and try and find the exact same center of this whole area. And I think that's right about here when it's all said and done. We're just going to run this straight down here. I'll connect this in here. And then I want to do the same thing coming in from the other side. I just want to try and find the center piece there, and it appears to be there. I'll run right straight in here. I'm going to turn off these little squares and just run right straight into that. What that's going to leave us with is this nice center area here where I can build a circular, like a little roundabout in there. Um, and then I'm going to turn off the uh, snap to zone cell length. And I want to come right in here. We'll put this grids back on and maybe just run a uh, curve that runs out. Oh, like so swings around and snaps in here to the center point. Do the same thing coming around the other side and then from there i want to key off of it and do the same thing with a pedestrian road so we'll start here yeah three squares away from there that sounds good we'll just run out in this direction bring you to here let's see does that look about right i think that's right yeah and then we'll just zip right around to the other side here yeah and now we've got this big circular pattern that sits here kind of a bullseye almost look to it and I can upgrade all the roads in the middle part, so sit tight. Yeah, that should do that. And then now let's come into the center part here and just kind of cut these pieces out. One, two, three, four. And you can see we've got this, this roundabout configuration here with some zonable squares kind of in and around it where you can dot in a bunch of little small retail shops. I think that's going to be kind of cool in there. All right, we're off to a good start. Now, the other thing we're going to want to do is drop in some small parking. So let's do this. Let's get uh, maybe this modest parking lot. Drop in one right here, maybe another one there. Maybe a third one up here, and then a fourth one right there. 
Yeah, and so now we've got kind of the framework, if you will, of a nice little shopping district in here. Very nice. So now let's build out the rest of this grid in here. And I think what I want to do is something kind of fun. Let's let's start by, uh, let's grab a little spot down here. And I want to run out from here, maybe to, let's just get all the way out to there. Why not? And then up here, I think I'd like to take this road here. This little intersection just runs straight out here until I run to even with this other road and just connect that straight across if I can, just like that. Hmm. Now um, from here, let's let's come out to, yeah, I think I want to come out to about here and just bring that straight up and in. And now if I connect, kind of make a little windy road that kind of follows along the shoreline here and connects into there, I think that could be kind of interesting. So let's come out with a continuous curve, bend that up and in there, and then come back out kind of in this direction here. Yeah, and then bend this back into here. Uh, something like that. And then, oh, let's turn on these lines. Let's run straight out 180 degrees. Hit that. Start running back into here. Yeah, I think this is going to work. And then I'll just run a straight line right into that little corner. Excellent. Now we've got this yeah, kind of funky shaped little thing down in here. We've got lots of squares where we can build um, some larger homes along the the waterfront there. So now let's um, let's finish off this this area in here. I think what I want to do is just run a straight line out here. Let's turn this off. And I want to go out 120. There we go. And then we'll cut that back into here. And we'll cut that through over here. Let's turn off these grids and just run straight out in this direction. Yeah. And now I've got some interesting little shapes in here, don't I? And then the other thing I can probably do is just run out from here, this center space, 120 out in this direction, which is a long ways, but it might give us the opportunity to bring in, I don't know, some sort of a, a road that comes out like this, 40 meters, maybe 40 meters there, and then just curve this down into there with the help of a, help of a guideline. Yeah, there you go. And now we've got some interest in our road configuration here, and it'll allow us to put in some uh, unique properties in there. Ooh, a building just leveled up. Nice. Very cool. I think I like that. So as we think about what buildings we want to put into this space, I want to come down into this little area down here, and uh, I'm going to use a level terrain tool, just kind of smooth things out a little bit here, create a little bit of, of a you know, slope there, and, and then smooth back out again, just uh, square up some space. And down in this little corner here, that's where I want to drop some services in. So let's um, let's grab a an alleyway here. Uh, maybe run that down from here, not all the way, just just to kind of set things up aside there. And I want to drop in a little medical clinic in there, maybe the small medical clinic, and and that could probably reside. Let's just see if it fits right in here, or do I want to bring it up against this road here? Let's just see. Yeah, I mean, I think that's interesting. Maybe I would have this uh, oriented the other way, though, so that the parking lot is... Well, actually, no, now that I think about it, it's probably nice with the little hedge here facing this area over here. So I think that's okay. Uh, and does this a building that you can expand? No, it doesn't look like you can. That's okay. And then I want to take a city firehouse. Can that fit right in this corner here? Ooh, look at that. It just fits in there. Nice. Yeah, I like that look, too. Ooh, it kind of has a look similar to these uh, medium density homes across the way but yeah i mean it's a nice city firehouse we need fire coverage in the area and then also what we need in the area is some postal coverage and i think this little spot right down here might be the perfect spot for a little post office in fact i'm going to nudge that all the way back well maybe not all the way but up to here anyways so it's kind of set back from this little street a little yeah and i think that'll be really good just to give us adequate services and coverage in this area uh, that can serve both the Old Northeast, and of course, Island View Park. Cool. All right, now let's turn our focus on, oh, this area over by the promenade. I wanna bring in some height in this area here. And I think the best way to do that is to just grab some European style uh, mixed use. And I was starting this corner here and do a four by four. Yeah, and you can see how it's it's got an entrance on this side and this side. I wanna continue that pattern, just coming, coming right down here. And I'll, I'll come in here and I'll, I'll uh, you know, Demolish these and get them to flip around if I can. Yeah, so the entrances all are on the same side. So let's just go ahead and do that. I want to fill in the rest of this row. Sit tight. Yeah, like that. I think that's a good start. 
And then let's jump down over here. This is where our, our commercial district is going to be. And I think if we add some, maybe some higher density, small commercial buildings down in here, not big footprints, but, um, you know, just high density. Let's go with, uh, let's go North American style, high density though. Drop those right in here. And I don't know, can you do a three by, let's do a, let's do a three by two. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's jump in here and go, hmm, let's do another one, three by two like that. And then on this side, we can do a three by two here. And we're just going to kind of make it uniform and symmetrical there. So you got three by two, three by two. I think that'll look nice. And then let's drop in a big one down along here, maybe a four by four. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's going to be big. And then we'll do the same thing on the other end of the park. I should say the other end of the district. Yeah. And so what that's going to do is I scoot back over here. You're going to start getting a little bit of elevation along here just to kind of create this this framework, if you will, around the promenade. And uh, I think that's gonna look really, that's gonna look really sharp. All right, now let's um, let's focus our attention on, on building out the rest of this commercial area in here. So one of the things uh, I find intriguing in this space is if I take this, um, well, let's just grab North American low density business. And you can see these little tiny two by two squares here. So if I drop one in there, maybe another one in there, maybe, it, maybe it's these are North American style. And then if I toggle over to European style, then I can come in and do some of these other ones here. One, two, and you're gonna get this whole series of little shops that are kind of tucked into this little circle area here. And uh, I think we'll do a decorative element there. But you can see all these little commercial shops are gonna fill in in this, this round area here. Um, and you're, they're gonna have some fronts against this area. They're not gonna be on the walking area, but uh, maybe, maybe it'll have the illusion of that <laughs> when it's all said and done. So that'll, that'll densify up nicely. And then I think what we can do is drop in some larger, uh, maybe let's do a North American three by three right there and right there. Yeah. And I think this'll, this'll really kind of get that vibe of, of a, you know, thriving shopping district in here. And then, hmm, down along here, we probably need to do something. Let's, let's kind of do every other like we were doing before. Did we do two, two by five, I think is what we did next door. So let's do that. Every other two by five, two by five. And then we'll come in with the North Americans on every other. Yeah, I like that. This could be really nice. And we see our demand meter starting to go down for commercial, but that's all right. And that's, that's going to give us lots of commercial back in this space in here. All right. Well, let's turn our attention on this, this block next then. Here I see us doing kind of a combination of things. I want to do uh, medium density European. So let's go, uh, let's see here, European style, medium density housing. And let's just start in this corner and do a four by four. And then ideally, yeah, I want them fronting up this way. So this is great. Yep, yep. And let's just continue that pattern right down along here. And then on this side of it, I actually want to swap over to European row homes. So if I come in here like so, uh, and then just run these down along through here. I think I can grab maybe all of this in European row, do the same thing over here. And then maybe there becomes like a little bit of a, I don't know, some sort of a, a pass through here, just, uh, you know, some pathing and so forth. Uh, that'll be nice. And then let's kind of come back in here now that we've got some demand back in the commercial space. Let's bring some of that commercial back to life again as well. So we're going to go low density EU style, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll bring in North American to counter it. Yeah, I think that'll be great. And then across the street here, let's drop in maybe a string of three by threes. Let's do that. Let's go North American style there and there and there. And then over here we can, uh, yeah, maybe we'll mix it up. We'll go European style on the corner. And then we'll come in with North American in next to it and then European again. So you can see we're getting a lot of shopping in this area and the intent is to make this a big bustling commercial district in here. I think uh, I think we're we're definitely making progress in that way. Okay, let's tackle some of these other little spots over here. This like this little square down in here. Um I think we're going to have to do some work with these build squares though, uh, just to just to kind of get things framed back up. Now, what I'm thinking in this space is maybe European style high density buildings in here but not very big ones i don't want them to be huge because i don't want them to be massive towers so i'm thinking maybe uh you know like a three by three that sits in here yeah and those won't get too big they won't get too big 
and just kind of a series of those kind of scattered throughout here and maybe it becomes almost like a collection like um you know like a, this is a this is a unique development here that that came into being with one property management or design firm that did the whole area and we stagger those every other one and then that would allow us to have some some green space here in between them and allow us to do some maybe some textures and you know some park and that sort of thing with that that's right down in that space so it'll be a matching collection of of four kind of lower level towers if you will yeah now um next up i think we want to turn our focus on like this space up in here and this is kind of an odd shaped space and i thought the best way to tackle that is to probably drop in some uh, waterfront housing european style waterfront housing in here and just you know put some small waterfront homes that are kind of down in here uh just to fill it up and then uh yeah i think that that'll, that'll look sharp in this area here so maybe we'll just start with uh one two three four five six so if i did a three by four would that work it does all right so let's do that let's do a couple of those and then i'll come over here and do the same thing here whoop i don't want to put it all the way into that corner though let's come out to here and just go three by four yeah just something like that there that was a bit of a project uh can we stick any more in there nah i don't think so that's fine that's fine okay cool Oh yeah, you can see these mixed uses are starting to fill in here. That looks really sharp. And oh wow, we're getting some nice pops of height here. So again, as I come back, it starts to just kind of frame it up ever so slightly. Ah, very nice. Now we can focus on our big estate homes that are down here along the waterfront. This should be pretty cool. Now the style of home that I really want to use down in this area is going to be our European style waterfront home. And so let's just jump over to EU style waterfront, low density, and drop in a big three by, yeah, three by six there. Now, I, I want to now, in a lot of these other spaces, do a 4x4 four because four, we don't have quite as much depth, if you will, on the uh, on the shoreline here. So let's just drop in a little street there, put in a 4x4. Four four. Okay, and that forced it to, to go up against that street there. So let's see if I can drop in 4x4s four four the rest of the way. And then I'll come back to a 3x6 right here. Now I'm going to continue to paint along the largest possible sizes that I can all the way up and down along this coast. So sit tight. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is I'd like to come in behind it with some European style row homes and just kind of fill in these little blocks in behind. Yeah, there we go. Now it's filling in really nicely along this uh, Pine Street here. And I've got the opportunity now to come over here and put in some more of these European style waterfront homes. Um, let's see if we can do a four by four in this space. So I'm gonna, once again, try our little road trick here because the reason I'm doing that is, is it oftentimes will force the building to spawn in a four by four configuration. And then you just remove the road and just come back in now with a four by four. That's okay. And then let's tackle this little area down in here. Let's put in some, well, yeah, let's do this. We'll go two by four, two by four, and two by four. Well, not, not exactly. All right, three by six, three by six. There we go. Now it's really filling in nicely down here along Pine Street. You're gonna have your row homes. You're gonna have your, your European waterfront homes. And then when we thicken this up with some foliage and, and add some rocks and such along the shore here, it's going to look really spectacular and imagine you know living in some of these even these medium density homes that are out looking up over the the tunnel crossing and across the bay and into downtown and then you've got these elegant homes sitting right along the shore here Ooh, this is going to be a really desirable place to live i like it now the next thing i'm going to have to do is i think i'm gonna to have to buy a square uh, i'd like to get out here and, and just kind of finish off this this point here so let's jump into our tiles and let's purchase this one right here Let's see, does that get us what we need? I think it does. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So let's, let's just do that. And yeah, we, we can be out in this space here because I want to build a nice little park out here at the end. And the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to build a kind of a key wall like we've got sitting up over here on the Harpoon Point. Uh, but down in this spot over here. So let's jump in here and start working on that. So the first thing we'll do in this area is we're going to want to do some terraforming. And uh, let's grab this level terrain tool. Just kind of flatten some things out a little bit. Just so we have a nice smooth area to work with. 
And then I'm gonna take this road. I'm gonna turn off that guy line there. I'm gonna run straight across there. And I'm gonna bring this one up and connect right straight through. That just gives us a nice little evened off rectangle in this space. Uh, and then, oh, I should probably pause the game here just in case, because we're gonna get a little bit disruptive in that space. I wanna find the center of this, this new box that we just created. And then I want to, I'm going to be want to pushing out into this water area out here. So I don't want to get into the shipping lane, but I do want to make a significant movement out here just so that I can uh, build out kind of the, the, uh, the round circular park out here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now we can just jump out from here and run out. Uh, well, let's just run this thing out as far as we can. And then I'm going to pick a point. Maybe I'll come down. About 104 from there. Yeah, okay, so that's there. Let's just come out 104. And out 104. And now I can swing an arc around there. So let's just build this out just a little bit further. Yeah, something like that. And um, I'm going to want to come in now and carve out a little area down in here. But before I do that, I want to take this. I'm going to take this... Uh, this road, I'm just going to come straight out of the end of that one here, put this continuous curve on, spin this around here, come out the end of that one there. Yeah, that's probably oh, one more in. There we go. That's probably going to be good. And then now I can come in behind it with my level terrain tool and pick an elevation. First of all, brush size, that's much smaller, like 30. Pick an elevation quite a ways down below sea level, maybe 10 lines or so, and then work my way down along here. So sit tight again. Okay, something like that. Now, if I come back in here and upgrade this road to a pedestrian road, hopefully we'll get a key wall effect. If I just come out one more spot, maybe not. Here's what we'll do. We'll knock those roads down. We'll swing that new pedestrian road in and hopefully everything will be just fine. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got a really nice key wall that sits right down along there. And now I can bend that key wall into here. Let's just see if we can bring that in. That's what I'm going for on that side. And then maybe we can do something on this side where we'll just run a line straight out here. Give this something to attach to. And there you go. So now we've got this circular area out here and we can continue our design. Okay, so now here's where the magic's gonna happen. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's jump in here with a pedestrian street. I wanna come out, uh, put on our continuous curve, come about about four squares from the center of that, swing this around so we've got a nice little loop going here and another loop coming back there. Yeah, okay, and then let's take out those center streets, one, two, three, four, upgrade our extender streets. You can tell I'm getting excited about this like that yeah and then we're going to drop in our showstopper piece comes from our parks and recreation tab we're going to go to the tourist attraction and of course the bronze statue look at this guy all right let's drop this right in here right into the centerpiece here boom yeah oh wow now that's a view you got the government building the promenade the bronze statue you've got the fountain you've got the observation tower all in alignment we'll get the game run in there you can see the fountain going and there you go that is the alignment that we were going for here uh, all along and and i'm really excited that this is coming into being all right so let's jump down in here let's start peeling away this outer wall here uh, we don't have to do anything fancy just yet but uh, let's just grab an elevation that sits oh i don't know down here and then we're just going to work our way around this wall, strip this back. Yeah, and I'll come in during the beautification time lapse and I'll smooth this out here. In fact, I'll just probably just grab something like this and just go right along. So, uh, but we'll we'll do a better job, of course, as we finalize things here. But now you can see how this is all this is all taking shape here as this promenade comes into place. All right. Well, Anyhow, this feels like a really great place for us to jump into a beautification time lapse. We've got a lot of work to do. I want to come in here and thicken this up with some vegetation here in the commercial area. Really bring some life to this. Maybe add some, you know, a nice centerpiece in, in the middle here. Add some, you know, pass through parks coming through here. Uh, add some rocks and stuff along the shore here and just kind of thicken this up if I can. 
uh, and then maybe fill in a few more of these uh, these these European waterfront homes down along here. And yeah, just kind of bring in a little extra depth. I like the way that this is starting to frame up our promenade. And then of course, I've got a lot of work to do to build out this park in this space. I got a couple of ideas and this could be a lot of fun for us. All right, well, why don't you guys sit back, relax, enjoy the time-lapse and we'll catch you here afterwards to recap our sculpture.
All right, welcome back, and I give you the Old Northeast. Yeah, this is the uh, subject of today's build, the Old Northeast, and I just really love the way this turned out. This was a really cool build. Say, we wanted to put in a big, stately, elegant neighborhood here in the northeastern part of the Consular District, and I think we achieved our objective. <laughs> All right, there's a lot to unpack here, so let's jump right on in. I'm going to start down here along the shore. And yeah, we put in some services, basic services in there. That's not really all that interesting, but we've got these beautiful, elegant homes that are make their way just right down along the shore here. You can see this European, you know, waterfront home style that we built in here. And those are in the process of leveling up. But boy, when they do, they, uh, they end up being just spectacular. And you've got some that have little hot tubs and greenhouses, a little clothesline in here. This guy's got a little plunge pool up here. I like that with the pergola. And then there's, uh, you know, as you make your way around, you got some umbrellas and nice patios. But imagine having this house right here. You've got a raised swimming pool. You've got a nice little greenhouse back in here. You can look out over the channel. And you can see our, our wonderful tunnel here, the Bay Pass Tunnel, as it makes its way under the water. Looking across to, the, to some of the suburbs across the way, you can see the cruise ships make their way through and past our downtown area as well. So that would be a pretty nice place to live. All right. More of our, our, our estate homes make their way around this curb. And speaking of curves, we've got these row homes that make up the inside of that curb. If you take a look here, remember we had this windy, windy road and we, we put row homes in along there just to kind of you know, flow along with that, uh, that curvy road. And, and I sure do like the kind of the touch of elegance that they bring this road right behind here. It's a, it's a nice little, uh, nice little step in, in elevation too, because you go from these beautiful estate homes that are right along the water into these row homes that are just really elegant. And then up in behind it, you've got these European style medium density homes as well. And, and those just really, those, those turn out beautiful as well. Now we got this path through park that gets you into the internal shopping area. Remember if we, we put in this big commercial zone in here and I just love this. This is our circular shopping area here. You can see our big walking roundabout, if you will. And then of course, we've got our driving roundabout through the center with a little elevated center section here. And then all these little boutique shops that are making their way kind of around the, uh, around the uh, circle, if you will, spin off. And uh, I, I don't know all the names of them here. Here's it Mito and then Ocean Port. But anyhow, beautiful little shops that are ducked in here. And we added some flowers and trees and plantings. And then down in here, I added a little, uh, just a couple surfaces along here, some fountains, a little info booth and maybe a shaved ice uh, vendor down in here with some, yeah, some little park benches and so forth in there. And then, you know, as you make your way around the circle, around the roundabout, coming over to the other side, something similar. I put in another concrete uh, asphalt, I guess, surface in here with a food vendor there and a little hot dog stand. And, so if you want to take your time and go for a leisurely stroll around all of the, the boutique shops that are here in the center section, you can do that. Grab a bite to eat on the way as well. Now, I added a few high-density buildings in here, high-density commercial there and there, just to give it a little extra you know, pop of height, if you will. And then another one over here. Uh, and, and then some North American-style you know, high-density commercial buildings here, just to kind of create kind of this framework, if you will, right along that curved street there. I like the way that turned out. Now, continuing along, we've got this four tower complex in here. This is an apartment structure back in here with four matching buildings. We're waiting for that one to level up. And then I brought in these little circular walking paths through here too, just to kind of create an interesting geometric shape. Now you've got this wall of, of mixed use buildings that are right waking their way through here as well. And I like the way that those turned out because they can all look over the tops of these office buildings that are that are kind of fronting up the promenade. So a really nice place, a desirable place to hang out and live. You've got the beautiful views of the promenade. Now I put in a couple other little walking gardens down in here. You can see this half moon version went there with a gazebo and a nice little place to hang out and catch some ocean breezes that, that come off of the bay here. And uh, you know, we've got these lovely row homes kind of framing it all up. And then we continue down along the shore with some additional European style waterfront homes making their way all the way down and around here. And you imagine living in this one. You got a little plunge pool. You can look out across the channel and then over to downtown. And then of course, you can look over to our top five design element. Yeah, and that is breathtaking World Park. <laughs> yeah, that's this area out here that we built. And I sure do love the way that this one turned out. Let's jump down in here. 
Uh, Breathtaking World is the song that we always play at the end of our videos uh, to to kind of run through our cinematic reel, and I just love it. It's just uh, it's it seems it just feels really appropriate for Pangasus Bay. Now we've got our our bronze statue where he's holding the world in his hand, and he's he's looking across, maybe challenging, if you will, the residents of Pangasus Bay. All right, <laughs> but he's got this reflecting pool area here that uh, that you know creates this beautiful kind of turquoisey color right out in front. And then we've got some walking gardens that are out here as well, just uh, some flowers and trees, and just some nice little sidewalks. A, a great little place to kind of escape. Now continuing along in the park here. I built out this little um, performance shell, if you will, down here with some log seating here, maybe some informal plays or something going on here in the park. And then we've got this little fountain down in here with some you know, some planters and, and some benches here. We can just kind of come and relax. And then if you want to catch a bite to eat while you're taking in all the sights, you've got some food vendors that are making their way around through here with lots of table seating and umbrellas, some pergolas and everything. Let's just make a day of it with these beautiful planters around here just to kind of give it a little added level of, um, you know, definition, if you will. Oh, let's just jump back through here now. Now that we've had a chance to kind of build this out, I want to go all the way back to our government building and see what we see here now. And you can see the promenade is is really um, you know a, a prominent feature here with all of these offices making their way down along here. We had some of our Island View Park area creep into here. And then of course the old Northeast now, which is that again, touch of elegance in this area. So um, I just really am loving the way that this is this whole consular district is turning out. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap up today's episode, but sit tight. You're not going to want to miss the cinematics at the end. Again, you get to hear Breathtaking World, and uh, those are always a treat. And just as a reminder, this channel is nothing without you, the wonderful viewers. So if you saw something that you liked today, be sure to leave us a comment below. Uh, I really love hearing from you guys, and it also really uh, helps with the algorithm to distribute our content to a wider audience, which helps us grow. And a big shout out and a thank you to all of our members, both here and on our Patreon site. Your generosity is much appreciated. Also, while you're at it, make sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button and smash that notification bell to stay up to date with all the happenings here in Pangasus Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. All right. Well, with that, I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell. And until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you.